Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, we successfully installed Laravel's 8 default authentication system and also as I told you, it's now using that Laravel JDStream stream and also the library, right? So if you want to check it that appropriately we successfully installed it or not, like if you go to your project directory, so right now I remove everything from here, okay, I don't need this, I remove everything. Now, if you go to your um, composer JSON, so that is our composer JSON into the composer JSON here, you can see our library is successfully installed. That is a scam down is installed. There is a J stream is installed. So here we successfully install everything. So as I told you, whatever the packages you install automatically, it will be add in our composer JSON. So right now it's successfully installed, right? And now I want to do, I want to actually check it like here if you now go to the registration i want to create another registration for our user so they have also another table for the user so now i want to do i want to name it as a kazi okay i name it as a kazi and put one of the name as a admin admin at the rate admin um, at gmail.com okay this type of one of the email address and i put on the password or you do me one two three four five as you do me one two three four five so here friend all the default authentication system is ready made like here if you put a different type of um, confirm password click as a register now you can see it's also showing all the default authentication system here you don't need to do anything and it's showing as oh something went wrong the password confirmation does not match okay so here as i told you every um, default authentication system is ready made so now i have to do and to make it as a we do me one two three four five you do me one two three four five okay so now i want to do and to create one of the user as a kazi and email address i have put as a admin at the gmail.com there is a password and the confirm password and now if everything okay if you click as a register yes you can see friend now that is the our dashboard okay and that is the our new look i hope you like it very much so that is very much interactive one of the parts so that is our dashboard and here if you open it you can see there is a profile there is an api token and also there is another option for the logout so if you go to that profile and go to the profile you will get a lot of the features i show you and here you can see here there is a profile picture there is a select new photo so from here you can update new photo by the by default it will be actually copy if you check it uh, that is actually this image actually comes from you can see there is a ui one of the avatar.com that is one of the api so this api is integrated with our this laravel that means laravel jet stream and there is a name if you want to change that name you can change it there is email address so i have already put that email address and that is our update uh, password so if you want to update that password from to this position you can update it everything is ready made okay so there is a current password here you have to put your current password then your new password your new confirmation password and there is also another new feature is added as a two-factor authentication which is very much interactive one of the things like that is our you have to enable it so like if you click as the enable and here you have to do you have to put your password for confirmation so right now i use the one you demand three four five and now if you click as a confirm now you can see there is another option for the qr code so with this qr code you can regenerate this password rather than you can also regenerate it with this one-time code there is a secret password manager they can use for the recovery access for your account so okay so and also you can regenerate it, the recovery code if you click on here automatically it will be changing so that is the pretty much interactive one of the authentication system is updated in laravel uh, so i hope you enjoy it very much so right now you don't need this if you if just actually you check it okay so how the things exactly work with the qr code so now i make it as a disable and also the browser session that is very much important one of the things like if you um, open i open it with our another browser i show you so here i want to do and to run our project so that is our project now i want to click as a login so i have already created one of the user as a um, admin right admin at the rate gmail.com and then you do me one two three four five now click as a login so right now that is our another browser so now you can see we are successfully logging with the r that means our kazi Aryan. so now if you go here and if you now refresh it 
now you can see friend it's also showing our which uh, browser you already logged in so that is the, our firefox into the firefox in i have activated eight second ago so that is our firefox here i successfully logged in right so if you want to log out other browser session you can also manage it from to this area okay so that is very much interactive one of the browser session you can also um, manage it from here like if you click as a, a logout from here that is how you have to put that password i put the as a again as a udemy 1345 and log out other browser session that means it will be saved i have to activate it only our this uh, browser and automatically it should be log out from here okay i show you like i just click as a log out other browser session now you can see it's not totally gone but right now if you refresh it yes you can see right now you already logged out from here okay friend so here that is very much interactive one of the things is now added so here you can actually do that work from to this position if you want to click as a logout and from here you can log out so right now i want to uh, discuss about some of the things like here there is email address i want to log in with the again admin and then password you need on three four five now if you click as a login so right now i'm logging okay so here that is all that file structure i want to share like if you go to our project and do the project you can see there is an action into the action that is our 40 and that is actually um, all that our registered default authentication file that is a create new user that is our reset password this update password that is our JD stream for the delete user and also that is our dashboard you can see into the resources into the resources that is our dashboard blade so that is the dashboard blade is now visible that means that is actually our dashboard part okay friend so here if you want to change it you can change it and also that is our navigation bar. this navigation it means uh, actually this for our drop down that means that is uh, they have the also another one uh, like here like that is actually our dashboard menu so this is the dashboard menu actually comes from particular this area okay so here if you want to add new one you can add new one from to this position like here i want if you um, copy it i copy it and now i want to add another one now click as a save all and now if you refresh it now you can see there is another one is added as a dashboard another one is a dashboard so if you want to change it you can change it from to this position okay friend that means this file actually work for our appropriate particular this area and also there is our dashboard so that is as i told you so that is a dashboard is now visible so that is our this dashboard particular here is visible and that is some of the text so that is a default all that it takes and here that's the text actually this one as the exit welcome okay like if you remove it i remove it now click as a save all and now if you refresh it now you can see it's not totally gone okay so from here actually you can actually manage it i hope you understand it very much so that is actually the file location and also when you logged in that means when you go to your profile page so that is our profile page right so into the profile page here there is also another file into the app that means a layout into the app blade and with the app blade area you can see that is also loaded all that our asset css that is a live word style that is all the css header so that is actually our header part so this is the header part is visible so that is everything okay so here don't worry friend everything i will discuss about everything with you the live example and here if you now go to our another one like there is a config and to do the config there is also another file as a 40 okay into the 40 here mm, there is a password email so they have all that features you can say that is the features file so this is the features file is our registration is activated our reset password is activated our update profile information is activated the email verification there is a two a factory um, that is a two factor authentication so all that features actually visible in our profile that means here you can see there is a clear profile information update password the two factor that means the two uh, factory authentication so everything actually comes from this place okay so here if you don't want to display that update password you can make it as a comment out i make it as a comment out and now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it 
and now here you can see friend our update portion is now totally gone okay so here right now our update portion is totally gone so here if you want to display it you have to do you have to make it as a enable so right now it's enable for the reasons if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it and you can see our update pro password is now visible so that is all that our um, by default um, that feature so from here you can actually activate it you can actually deactivate it okay and also there is another file as a jd stream if you open it so that is our another jd stream file and also here you can see there is actually features features for the profile photos and for the apis so these two of these is visible on here so that is our photo and that is our profile okay so here if you don't want to display your profile photos option you can make it as a disable so when you install it automatically it's created some of the all that file so that is the all your file i hope you understand it so from here you can able enable your all that features so that is our locking details that is a web that is a route as a home so everything is on here okay friend and as i told you when you install it it's automatically created another file in our route area into the web.php so that is a media layer is verified as a slash one of the dashboard that means you can see when you install it successfully it's redacted to one of the page so that is our slash dashboard one of the url right so that is the slash dashboard so you can see there is a slash dashboard is return view one of the dashboards so that is our dashboard and name also i hope you already know about it that means this route name they are actually declared with the dashboard okay and also there is a return view one of the view page so that means in our in our resources into the resources there is a view and into the view area there is also another file as a dashboard.php okay so that is our dashboard so that's all basic uh, all that file structure i hope you understand it and that is our 40 so as i told you said so everything is on here so that is our when you install it will get this file so literally you will do a lot of work with in particular that area so don't worry so just get some of the little idea when you install it all, all that our default file will be activated in your project file area okay friend so that's all so i hope you enjoyed so that is the, our default authentication system of laravel 8 so it's very different from the laravel 6 7 so it's very much interactive one of the update laravel actually uh, provided so now everything is great perfect so right now friend i have already added one of the new user if you go to that our user here you can see that the one user as a kazi email address the password and all that our field so right now i also want to do and to add another one so here i log out from to this position and now i want to log in register sorry i want to register it again another user and i just now name it as a, um, a marian and name it as a arian at the rate gmail.com and i put that password you do me one two three four five you do me one two three four five now i want to do and to create another new user as arian click as a register yeah right now i am logging with the arian it's getting our first two of this character as a, a and then r that means the arian and there is a profile details that is a profile and now if you go to your database and now if you click as a refresh there is another one is added as a id1 id2 id1 is a kazi id2 is a arian and then email address and then password right that means the hashtag password automatically created you don't need to do anything so friend here we successfully created two of this user we successfully um, created our default authentication system and right now you can register a new user and also you can log in with this user so in our next video i want to discuss about how can read this data that means step by step friend as i told you i will try to explain very easily how that laravel all that functionality work so in our next video i want to get this data from to the database and i want to visible it in our web page that means in our view page so how we can read this data how we can visible it in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video